Hey guys, this is Joey. I am in a bit of a... I don't know if crisis is the right word, but a bit of a state lately because, as you all know, I've been accepted to Georgetown University, which is in Washington, D.C. But I live way down south on the west coast in San Diego, California, which is a good 2,000 miles away from D.C. What the implication is, is that I'm going to have to move from the place that I've called home for 10 years. And for a lot of people, that's, that, that, that's a really traumatic thing, but it's something new for them. So they're able to just experience it and roll with the punches. I know what it feels like to leave your home where you've been for 9 or 10 years, because when I was 9 years old, I left Georgia here uh, to come here to San Diego. So. I'm freaking out isn't the right word, but I'm definitely very pensive and I've been very introspective lately in how I'm dealing with it because I have a lot to think about along with a lot to do before I can make that move. So over the next few weeks up until June the 13th when my father signed 543 flies in, I'm going to be making videos detailing and documenting what I'm going through and how that's affecting me and everything that's going to be going into this move because on June the 22nd I'm going to be starting a road trip from here to Georgia which is going to be a lot of fun to bring you guys along with and take you to visit all the places that I'll be at but up until then I have a lot to do. So the first thing that's going on in my mind lately is the fact that I cannot take with me everything that I've accumulated over the years. I did that video about all my favorite possessions, which was, you know, kind of materialistic, but whatever. And I can't bring a lot of the material possessions that I've, that I've acquired over the years. For example, I have to get rid of my favorite desk because that's not going in my Ford um, 2003 Explorer Sport. I have to get rid of the couch that I've had for like three years now. Um, I'm not taking my TV. I'm not going to be taking many of my clothes or any of the toys that I had when I was 9 and 10 years old. I'm going to be giving those all away. I'm not going to be taking any of the furniture in my room. And the biggest issue I'm having right now is the fact that I have a ferret named Desi who, with whom I've lived for four years now. I adopted him from a military guy that went off to Iraq <clears throat> and he couldn't care. He was still a baby. Desi was a baby at that point, but he's he's grown up with me And I can't take him to college. I just can't and I'm hesitant to even drag him across the country with me because To go through all of these hot states during the summer means that I'm gonna be having to keep him in a place Where he can always be cool in the car take him into the hotel, which is not gonna be following the rules, but it's going to have to happen. And then he's going to go into the south and live with me in the weird situation which I'll be in there, which is that I'm not even going to have my own room and there are going to be tons of people and animals around that he doesn't know. I don't know if he's going to be in the best place to be with me as I venture into college. And then what happens in August? What happens in August? He's going to be going with me into a dorm? I don't think so. So my father has offered to take him, but that's a big burden and I don't know if I want to do that without knowing that the person that's going to have him really, really wants to have him there as much as I do. So now I'm having to make this decision, do I find him another home or do I find a person here in Encinitas where I live that could, that, that could provide him the same care that I have. And that's hard because he's my baby, he's my boy and I love him and I don't know that I'm going to be able to just hand him over. So. There are lots of things to be considered, and let this be a lesson to many of you high schoolers that are planning on going out to a college that's going to be way far away from you where you live now. It's going to be not tragic, but it's going to be hard when you have to get rid of things that are, that are large possessions if you're not going to be staying in the same place that you're living now and your parents aren't going to just keep your room exactly how it was because that's not happening happening for me. I'm going to have my room transformed into like a guest bedroom or something, which is fine because I'm not going to be here all the time. And if you have something like a ferret and you don't know who's going to be able to take care of it or a cat or a dog and your parents aren't willing to take care of it, you need to consider that and decide what you're going to do now because when the day comes and the decision needs to be made, it's not an easy decision at all. And I haven't even gotten to the part about the people in my life that I have to 
deal with and say goodbye to and deal with those emotions. So I guess that's going to be in the next video because I don't have time to do that today. But it's been really great sharing this with you guys and I, I can tell this is going to be an easy thing to do because it really helps me to, to express these emotions that I'm feeling right now with all of you whom I trust here on YouTube. So I will talk to you all of you soon and thank you so much for your support. Bye. Express the